Like, see? Oh, that's dual pistols. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Get in my way and try to block me. I'm gonna show aggression. Uh. Ooh, that was a really cool animation. I'm not gonna lie. Did you hear the clicking with the with the 1911? All right, boys, but here we go. We got some TDM. Okay, this guy 100% saw me. He's gonna chase me though. Okay, there's more. There's more. It's fine. It's cool. Oh my god, that guy just got shot down with the NX Shadow Claws. There's another one. <gasps> ah! Yo, there were so many of them. I don't know what the hell just happened. We're using the freaking 1911s, guys. Supposedly, I heard these things are pretty good with dual wield. I don't use these things dual wield too often. You guys know I really, really like the 1911, like just the solo one. But we're going to be using dual wield today, man. Okay. Whoa, these things are pretty awesome dual wield. What the hell? We're also rocking the dark matter camo on them, boys. So drop a like. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have the 1911s. I'm a huge fan of the 1911s. Whoa. Oh my god. Freaking NX Shadow Claw with the bayonet attachment. Okay. Okay. Oh god, the freaking Shadow Claw guy. That's fine, here's someone. Oh, dude. Yo, these dual wield 1911s are actually pretty good. If you have the 1911s, throw on dual wield. Like, I'm genuinely having like a pretty good time using these things. And like, I never really use the, the dual wield 1911s. Oh my lord, we absolutely destroyed that guy. There we go. There's definitely a guy right here. Yep, thank you. Most of these guys are just camping inside that building over there, which is probably good for me, just because, you know, close quarter combat is obviously going to be, uh, you know, the, the, the good thing with these pistols. Oh my god, look at that. Wait, this guy jump up? Oh, we got him. Ah! Oh! Yo! These pistols are absolutely crazy. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, Sparrow shot down. Here they come. There's one of them. There's one. Ah, there's two. Don't want to push out? Yeah, let's just do it. We just got a hater and wraith with the freaking 1911s, guys. What? Oh, oh. Ah! Do not kill me! No! I think I fell partially from fall- I died partially from the fall damage, I think. There was so many of them in the corner right there. Or not the corner, but in the hallway. Thank you. These guys are all right here. Oh my god, I think there's- Yep, we're gonna kill that guy. Did we kill him? Wow, guys! We joined a little bit late, and we got 32 kills. 32 and 8. Okay, this guy's mic is terrible. 32 and 8 with the 1911s. Got the hater, got the wraith. First game on with these things. They're good. <laughs> They're really, really good. I don't know why these things are good. I like the 1911, just like the one pistol, but I kind of like a dual wheel too. Alrighty, guys, we have the uh, the 1911s again. We're on some fringe nightfall, and just how like look how amazing the dark matter camo looks on fringe nightfall, just because it's like so dark and rainy and gloomy or whatever. Uh, but we're gonna hit this wall run right here, and we're gonna see. See, that is why that wall run is so good learn that in com competitive guys competitive umgs that's the way to learn tactics for maps i'm telling you we have that guy what the hell your buddy was just chilling there too get destroyed this guy behind me with a dracon i didn't kill him oh <gasps> oh my god he didn't know yo oh my god Yo, why are these ne these 1911s are actually so good? Take it, if you're watching the video right now, use these things. I don't know why they're good, but I have a feeling like Tanky will love them. I don't know why. Like, see? Oh, that's dual pistols. What? These guys think they're sneaky, right? These guys think they're sneaky? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I, I literally love my teammate so much. He just drops the controller. We're literally in a war, dude. And you drop the controller. Awesome. All right. Alright. I think a guy might come through, like, right now. Okay. <gasps> I'm so dead. No! Dude! I mean, we're doing the best on my team at the moment, but I'm trying to get the Wraith and the Hater. It's not really working out. Oh, there's another one. If you could have extended mags with these dual wield pistols, it would legitimately be over. But you only have seven bullets in each pistol, and it can make it a little bit difficult to get a kill. 
Like, okay, that was that was pretty good, but oh my god. Wait. There's more. Hold up. These guys are gonna come through like right now. He's gonna come back for revenge. There we go. Let's just pull out the scythe. Screw it. There's one. Is there a guy in here? There we go. This guy with the freaking Dracon suppressor. There he is. Okay. Oh my god. UAV. There we go. Oh, that guy's so one shot. There we go. Alright, boys. We can actually get the Wraith now. Oh, but my team's leaving. We have the lead, though. But my team's leaving. I don't know why they're leaving. I threw a nade up there. Wait. These guys are, like, all around us. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what just happened right there. Yes! Oh, no, we died off the hater. We got the wraith, though. We got the wraith, though. That is fine. That is fine. I literally, I knew there were so many people right there. Okay, I knew so many people right there, and I just had to send it. You know what I mean? I literally just had to send it uh, for the Wraith, because I knew if we killed, like, two more people, we were going to get the Wraith, and I just I just said full send, boys. Full send, and now we have the Wraith with the 1911s dual wield. Like, what am I doing to these guys? <laughs> what am I actually... Look at these things. These things are actually unfair. These things are unfair. Like, I've seen articles saying how, like, the 1911, like on Reddit, like the 1911, super, super OP and very unfair. And now, yes, I'm seriously thinking that. Like, dual wield is also unfair. Not just one pistol, but dual wield is unfair too. Did that guy die? Yeah, he died. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yo, 35, 37, and 9. 37 and 9. If we could drop 40 kills with these bad boys. Thank you. Some people up here, probably. Oh, that guy died. I think we have a guy literally all the way back here. Got him. Let's pull out the scythe. Here we go. Nice. Gotta love the scythe. Gotta love the scythe. Oh! <gasps> UAV. 42 and 9. I have to mute your music, dude, because, you know, copyright reasons. But 42 and 9. 4.67 KD. With the damn... 1911s why are these things so good for i don't know why but they're actually so much fun to use and i seriously have no clue why if you guys have the 1911s try it i'm gonna show you guys my class setup right now so if you guys you know whatever uh have the 1911s you guys can also use the dual wield class setup and dominate with it but drop a like for that boys 42 and 9 can we boast what are we gonna do are we gonna do the dab hey i love the freaking dab emote <laughs> Alrighty guys, so my 1911 uh, class setup uh, with the dual wield is obviously, you know, you gotta have the dual wield attachment. Unfortunately, when you have dual wield on, you can't um, put on anything else. Like, if you can have extended mags or, like, long barrel or high towel or I don't even know... Dude, this thing would be, it would be insane, guys. It, this would be the most overpowered weapon in the game, but, you know, when you put dual wield on, you can't have any other attachment equipped, which kind of sucks. Uh, that would just make it so OP, guys. But, uh, anyway, I have one frag. Moving on to the perks, though. Six cents and afterburner for perk one. Six cents, I was using that a lot in this game because, uh, you could just kind of see, you know, they're pinged on the radar if any enemy is, like, close to you, which I really, really like. Afterburner, just because you can have the thrusters, uh, you know, you know, recharge faster, which I like. Scavenger, just so I can pick up more ammo and all that good stuff next up we have dead silence just so i can move very silently and kind of be like a ninja and then awareness not many people use awareness but if you guys have like a really good headset i was using like awareness so much in this video i can just hear the enemy's footsteps and i know when they're around and this helps me so much guys a very underrated perk not many people use awareness but if you guys have like a really good headset like turtle beaches or astros like i have astros uh you guys can really use awareness to your advantage and then of course we were rocking the dark matter camo on the 1911s but that's pretty much it 
it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have the 1911. Probably one of my favorite secondaries or probably one of my favorite DLC weapons in the whole entire game. And uh, first time, like, really trying out dual wield, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.